given sine of theta equals 6 over 10 and theta is in quadrant 2, find the values of cosine of theta and tangent of theta. The first thing I like to do with these is to draw a diagram. We are told that theta is in quadrant 2. So that means necessarily that this angle will go up around and this won't be exactly to scale, but it'll be right here. That'll be our triangle. Let's draw that in a different color just so you can see it separated from that, that arrow. And we have this triangle formed. And by the way, this is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Okay, so we have to follow what it's telling us. We're in quadrant 2 there. And what that's going to do is make this, um, this value of this leg a negative number because x is negative in this quadrant. y is positive. So let's just fill in these numbers here with the, uh, the, the numbers that are given to us. So if theta, sine of theta is 6 over 10 and sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse, that means the opposite, this leg, is 6 and the hypotenuse is 10. So now we have to find this, this uh, second leg or the other side, the third side of the triangle. Well, we can find this with Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared and plug in you've got 6 squared right the legs are a and b and the hypotenuse is always always c so you've got 6 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared simplifying you get 36 plus b squared equals 100 so b squared equals 64 that's after you subtract 36 from each side and b equals plus or minus, taking the square root, plus or minus 8. Ah, and remember, we're in quadrant 2, so we're going to have negative 8 here. I know this triangle, triangles never have a, a dimension of a negative dimension, but we're talking about being in specific quadrants here, and that's why we have to say this is negative 8. All right, now that we have these values, the y value, by the way, the y value is positive in this quadrant, so that 6 is fine. Now that we have these values, we can just go right through and, um, and find cosine of theta and tangent of theta. Cosine of theta, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's negative 8 over 10. You may have seen this uh, being done with identities and things, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with doing it by identities. I, I like to understand where the numbers are coming from as well. Uh, we should... We should simplify this fraction, negative 4 over 5. So cosine of theta is negative 4 over 5. Tangent. Tangent of theta, that's sine over cosine or opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 6, adjacent is negative 8. So the tangent of this, right, we can simplify this fraction, is negative 3 over 4. I moved that negative up be up to the numerator because in general we, sh we should write the negative sign in the numerator or just level with the fraction bar. But we haven't changed the value because positive divided by negative is the same as negative divided by positive. Alright, so that's the tangent of theta, negative 3 over 4. And that's it. That's one example of, of finding some values of the trigonometric functions given the value of, of one of them.